Okay, so today I'm going to talk about the absolute number one best reason to live in the UK that makes it an absolutely fabulous place to live. And it's not tea, no. It's the NHS. The NHS, that's the National Health Service. That means that all people in England and Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland, because that's Britain, are entitled to free healthcare. Amazing. That means that all children, you can just go to the doctor, whatever, for free, whatever's wrong with you. There we go. You break your leg, you go to A&E, fixed. You don't even have to pay. It's free. It's amazing. That's this incredible gift that we have been given. And right now, lots of politicians, namely Jeremy Hunt, are trying to change contracts for junior doctors so that they will get paid across the board the same amount whether they're working on a Sunday evening or a Wednesday midday. So the thing is, doctors aren't protesting working on weekends. They already work on weekends. My sister-in-law is a doctor. She works really weird shifts, but she works every single day of the week. They're just spreading doctors more thinly. They're not actually improving things by, say, hiring more doctors. And his idea is that we will get a 24-7 National Health Service. As if we don't already have that. Doctors are already working every day of the week. Now we've heard so much from doctors and politicians all about the changes that are about to be made to the NHS. Now I use the NHS every single day because I have a long-term health condition. I take medication every day. Medication which I don't have to pay for, which is free. I know that if I had to pay for my pills, I would be paying £85 a month. And that's how much I would have to pay every month for the rest of my life just because I have an illness that is out of my control. It's just something I was born with, I don't get to say. When I was 17, I suddenly became very ill. I leant on my arm during a maths exam, my AS exam. Got a crick in my neck, and then the crick in my neck managed to paralyse both of my arms. Because again, weird nerve thing. But no one knew what was wrong with me at the time. I got rushed to hospital, they did a huge number of tests on me. Big MRI machine, the CT scanner, I had a lumbar puncture, I had so much blood taken. And they did that free of charge. That was vital. And I was kept in hospital for ages and it was free. My parents didn't have to worry about it. They didn't have to think, oh my god, my child's potentially dying. On top of, oh my god, how are we going to pay for it? And here's the thing that I am most incredibly, incredibly grateful to the NHS for. My free hearing aids. They're so pretty. I know, I'm flesh coloured. But if they weren't provided to me by the NHS, I would have to buy these babies. About six grand each. Each, just for the privilege of being able to hear. That's why I love the NHS. These kind of services that the NHS provide are absolutely essential. The people who are providing those services are amazing. Those are the people that we should be celebrating. Why do little kids want to be a footballer when you can be a doctor and you can save people's lives? who are basically miracle workers. It's a little bit of magic. So perhaps we should all come out and support the doctor's strike and try and help them to achieve what it is they need, fair and balanced working condition. We don't need them to be overstressed and overtired and underpaid. That's not gonna save lives.